sometimes it's hard for new artists to start uh, artists to start a new creative project. We found an artist who shares her techniques to help inspire others. Now you're rushing me. <laughs> it's worth the risk of splinters. I, I like to just get people to look at the world in a different way than that than they're used to. Alison Helm first went to art school to be a painter, but then concluded painting was the norm. I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to challenge myself in a different way. The way was through wars with wood. It's kind of gushy, and then you're feeling it through like gloves, and so it, it's. It's kind of an odd feeling. This artist, whose work is shown on cruise ships and New York museums, is in North Dakota to share her techniques with students. If you can inspire someone else to be an artist, that's kind of the ultimate thing that I would wish to do. Allison is a master in wood bending. Whole piece of wood um, here and here. And with lots of glue and lots of screws, Allison can make wood go from this to this. I'm very, very pleased and very satisfied for about five minutes and then it's time to move on. <laughs> then I'm back to the beginning again. Oh no, what do I make? <laughs> she says her ideas come from looking at nature, science and daily experiences. Through twists and turns, bending turns to communicating. It's just very fulfilling to be able to um, almost encode secret messages into your work that, and to see if people can get it and people can understand what you're saying to them. Some use words to shape meaning. Allison uses clamps. No matter the tools, a message is formed. Only difference is Allison's message just has to dry overnight. With photographer Keegan Hahn, I'm Julie Beck for Studio One. Allison also makes sculptures from steel, glass, and a material similar to Barbie hair. 